Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all keeping well. I'm so excited for this video because I am about to review a product that I've had my eye on for ages. Like I have just been waiting for it to launch. So I know for all my American subscribers that NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum has launched in America for ages. We have only just got it in the UK. So I went and picked up today and I'm filming a video so I can give you a review on the product. So I'm gonna try it test it and I'm going to be using it with NYX base products and I'm so excited. So let's get straight to that. So this is the product. I have bought it in two shades. I bought it in beige and golden just because I didn't know what my shade was going to be. These kind of looked the closest online to what I would want and obviously I do go a little bit lighter because I do like a bright under eye. So we are going to try both of them. I will swatch them first just so we can see. But in terms of the concealer, it is made with a serum so it's I'm going for like a really light feel. On the website, it says that it is good for dry skin. It's good for red patches. It's good for dark under eyes. So not only can you use it under eyes on concealer, it's also good for kind of blemishes and scarring. It says that it's really good to cover that up. It is made containing tremella mushroom and green tea for 24 hour hydration. So in my eyes, I feel like it's going to be quite a dewy one. Um, but I'm excited to try it. Like I've I just want to get straight into it because I feel like I've been waiting for ages. So I am actually going to go in with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and I'm just going to put that all over my face. I'm just going to take this foundation, apply it all over my face apart from kind of my under eye area so we can actually get a real view of the concealer and how it works. NYX is probably one of my favourite high street brands. I know it was in America first so obviously we're quite behind with a lot of the products however I just love the consistency of the products I love the variety and honestly everyone knows that I always recommend this foundation to everyone it's so smooth it goes on so well and I just think the shade range for Asian skin has been amazing just thought if I used an NYX kind of base makeup it would be easier to kind of see if it's good with its own kind of product okay so I'm going to go in and swatch the two shades just so we can kind of see which one works better for me. So first of all, I'm just gonna take the shade beige and I'm just gonna do one pump or like half a pump just so we can see the color. Oh, this looks a little bit light. Um, so this is the shade beige, very, very white. I think that's gonna be too, too light for me. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the shade golden. Mm, I don't think I got that quite right. So this is beige and this is golden. This is a little bit um, more of a yellow undertone whereas this is kind of a cool undertone which kind of might sit on my face better but with this foundation I definitely feel like it's more golden. I think I'm going to go with golden and then if it's too dark we can always brighten it up with beige. I'm going to go in and apply it with my brush and a sponge just so we can see how it applies on the face with both and obviously say which one I prefer. So okay so it says when you're covering up kind of scarring or anything or spots or blemishes one pump is fine it says go for two pumps under the eyes so I'm going to take two on the back of my hand and I'm just going to get some of the product on the brush and basically apply it on my face with the brush as well yeah see I feel like golden's okay it'll brighten my eye and it'll be not too heavy I think so I'm going to go in and just let it sit for kind of one minute and I'm putting it all under my eye just because I want to see like the coverage on it. It does say that it is a non-cakey natural finish, but it is a medium coverage. So I would like to see, I've actually got a blemish here, which I probably won't work because it's a little bit lighter, but I'm going to just apply some here just to kind of blend it out. And I'm going to let it sit for two minutes before I go out and blend it out. So one side I will use a brush and the other side I will use a beauty blender just so we can kind of see it both before I give my review on the product. Okay, so I've let that sit for five minutes and I am just going to go in and blend this side out with a brush now. The product does feel like thin, like it's not a thick product. So... It's blending out really easy. It is like mixing together well. It's sitting on my face really nicely. It's really light and it actually feels really light as a consistency. Like it doesn't feel cakey whatsoever. I do feel like I'm actually going to blend it out with a beauty blender. I'm just going to kind of press this product down into my skin before I go out with the beauty blender and kind of evenly kind of distribute it out but in terms of so far like it's it blended in really well I just think the brush is not that great so 
I'm just going to go in and press this all into my skin using my damp beauty blender and then we'll kind of get a view for the coverage. Okay, so I don't think the colour was that bad. I do think that it has blended out smoothly on my face with a damp beauty blender. I actually feel like you don't need that damp of a beauty blender because it's quite a liquidy concealer. Um, so when it first comes out in the pump, I didn't think it was that liquidy considering it was serum. I feel like when you blend it out, it's quite a thin consistency. And I don't know if you can see it properly under the eyes, but there's a lot of dewy. Like it's, it is very dewy. It's not, it's a medium coverage. I think the coverage has been great. But I do think you can actually see the concealer a little bit better in this light. It's really dewy, really shiny. So even though it's medium coverage, it's a really natural finish. So I feel like if you're going for a heavy glam makeup, this is probably not the one for you. Okay, now that it's blended out, I'm actually going to set it with powder and then I'm going to come back and talk about the product and then I might leave it on for a few hours just to come back and show you what it looks like, kind of like towards the end of the day. I thought the best bet would be to set one under eye with loose powder and then one under eye with pressed powder and that's the NYX one, purely to see the difference between kind of like loose powder and pressed powder. So I am actually going to go in with pressed powder. So I'm just going to go in and apply the powder under my eyes. I can slightly see it creasing already. So I think this will help kind of blend it out. Okay, and that is its set, which is actually quite a good variant. So you can see that this is the concealer when it's not set, so it's just freshly applied. It's really dewy, so I feel like this foundation was a good choice for it because it's a medium coverage foundation. It's not a dewy coverage and it's not really matte either, but it's not overly dewy where my face is super shiny. So this concealer has sat on and kind of given me like really nice natural glow finish. For me, it's a little bit too shiny to start my day with. I don't mind if it kind of looks like this throughout the day. So I'm going to go in and just take some translucent powder from Fenty Beauty and I'm just going to apply that with, again, the beauty sponge. I'm just going to go in. And I don't really want to bake it as such, but I just want to kind of push the product into the skin to see how it works. And then I kind of want to leave it. As soon as the rest of my face, I'm going to come back and talk about the product. First things first, the product is super, super light. I actually love the packaging. I think the packaging is really cute. It is plastic packaging, but I think the pump applicator is really nice. I think it's really good size, like it'll fit in a makeup bag. It's a good kind of travel with you one. I like the fact that it's a concealer serum. I wasn't sure on how the coverage would look with a concealer serum. I thought it wouldn't give me that great of a coverage. I thought it would be kind of like the L'Oreal True Match Serum, where it's a really natural finish without a lot of coverage. And in reality, I actually think the coverage is really good. I do think that it is kind of taken away the darkness of my under eyes without me having to use a color corrector, which is a winner for me because it's kind of like one less layer. The other thing is it's super, super light. So for me, having like a really light base and then adding this as like one of the layers of my base and setting it and then kind of just going on with my day. So without blush or anything, it's a really nice natural finish. It's a great everyday concealer. I would actually love it if it was in a stick where you could just apply it with a stick. I think a stick applicator for this would be great because you could just dab in on the go. I feel like you can tell that it's kind of like lifted my face. My face looks really lifted. It's really bright under here. I do think that the loose powder has sit better on it than the pressed powder. I feel like with the pressed powder, you can kind of still see the dark circles, the hollow kind of areas, whereas the loose powder has just kind of set it really nicely and it's just giving it that clean finish. What I do want to see is in a couple of hours, like what's it like with creasing? The fact that it was so light in consistency makes me feel like it will kind of crease under my eyes and maybe not be as a strong, like it says 24 hour coverage. I want to just see kind of what it looks like in maybe like five, six hours. So I'll definitely come back and tell you. But my overall rating so far is that I really like it. It's so light. It's really nice. It literally feels like I'm not wearing anything. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. And it's really nice to touch. Like my face feels really, really smooth. The fact that it has serum in feels like it's just good for my face. Um, so at the moment, I'm really liking it. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what else you want me to try. I have so much new product that I'm trying anyway, but let me know if there's anything that you've seen that you want me to try and I will try and try everything you recommend. Let me know if there's also any concealers that you recommend that you feel like I have not used or not heard of because I'll be happy to take a look at it as well. So I will see you in a few hours.
Okay, so it's been probably around five hours now. I thought I would just quickly come on to show you what the concealer is looking like now and kind of how it's held up for the last few hours and if I still love it as much as I did when I first started. So this is what it looks like now. I'm just going to come in basically. So you can see that it is creased a lot and kind of gathered under my eye, which is like not ideal. I feel like I would need to like really blend that in again with my fingers or like a brush, but you can kind of see that it's kind of creased and sit in the lines. Um, I do think that with the powder on top of it, it has helped. It doesn't feel cakey. It still feels really light. I do think the coverage is there, but it does feel like a little bit dark where it's kind of started to crease again. However, I still really like this concealer. I definitely feel like it's a good everyday concealer. It's really light. It's really light in weight, but also really light in texture. And it blended out so well that I feel like even without product on my face as a base, like foundation, I think it would just like really seamlessly like blend into my skin, which I really love about it. I still feel like, even though it's kind of creased and looks a little bit dark directly under my eyes, I feel like my whole face, like under my eyes, still looks really bright and lifted, which considering it's been five hours, I think it's really good for a high street concealer of £10 or £11, I think it is. So I think my review still stands that I do like this. I will use this again, 100%. And I'm so glad it came to the UK. So thanks NYX for bringing it to the UK. Um, like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let me know in the comments what you want me to test and review and I'll see you on the next video.